Welcome to a basic introduction to ActionScript 3. This is presented by www.lmarsden.com. So we're going to start with a basic output. So we're going to start with our actions panel. And from here, we're going to start with a very basic command, and we're going to use a trace statement. So we're going to trace this out. When I run this program with a command enter, you notice that in the output window it's got www.lmarsden.com and nothing appears on our stage at the moment. And that's quite alright because using the trace statement we're actually talking to the developers window. In the runtime version you won't see this. So to output information to the screen, we need to actually make an object on the screen. In this case here we're going to use the text tool and we need to change the type. We're actually going to go back, um, use the classic text and we're going to be outputting information, so we're going to be using a dynamic text box. The three different text boxes are like a static text box, which is used for labels, dynamic, which is used for output, and input text boxes where you're getting information from the user. Because we're going to put www.lmars.com to the screen, we're going to use a dynamic text box. Something else that's important, make sure you've got your font set to use default, I'll use device fonts. And make sure you've got your colour and size selected as well. You can also change the font family to whatever type of font you would like. I'm going to stick with Times New Roman at the moment. I'm going to click on the stage and I'm going to draw, make the box a lot bigger. And we know this is going to contain the text. To output the information to the text, we need to give the text box a name so we know what its instance name is. So we're just going to call this TXT Output. Now TXT output's important because we want to talk to this object. To do that, we can head back to our action frame and we'll go to a new line. We're actually going to go TXT output, which is the object itself, which is behind here. And I want to talk to the text portion of that text box. I'm going to use text. And I'm going to make that equal to www.lmarsden.com. So I'm going to use the quotes and place this here. And what we're going to be doing is placing text into a text box. So when we run our command now, you can see that www.lmarsden.com appears on our screen inside the text box that we've created. If we would like a number to appear, so what I'm going to do this time is create a new text box. I'm going to change its color. For our text, make it slightly larger. If I wanted to, you can actually go into such things as paragraph and we can center the text. You can also adjust some other options with it as well. You can also change if it's single line or multiple line. I'm just going to go single line. And what we'd like to do is place some uh, numbers in here. Now, numbers are a little bit different. So if I go trace, bracket, say the number 37, you'll notice that when I run the program now, you can see number 37 come out and it's text. But because we're using a text box and we've placed a number, we need to make sure that the text box receives that number. So we need to make sure our text box is labeled. So I'm going to change the name to TXT number. And in our code, I'm then going to say txt number dot text is equal to the number 37. Now, you notice at the moment, we've now got an error. And it's actually told us the variable type is um is not a string because what we need to do is change an integer to a string now to do that we can actually either put quotes around it or if we are using numbers we can actually uh, use a method which is dot to string bracket bracket now the best way to see this is if we declare the variable var and number is of type number and then we make n number 
equal to 37. And therefore, we can change this now to n number. We can also trace n number. Therefore, the number 37 can be traced as 37 in our output window. And then we can actually convert the number 37 into a string, which is characters, which is a type of text, and place it in the text portion of the number box on our screen. So now what we see is the text up the top and also our text down the uh, bottom, this time it's the 37 as a string, not as the number 37. So I hope this helped you output to the screen.